seemed a bit of, at a bit of a loss in your set, and even on Fountain against Sheik, yeah. you can't rely on vertical movement. Yeah. Well, also, anyway. thanks to Holt and Chum, you guys are the homies. All right, but anyway, this this set starting off, Metal Reaper going Falco. Yep, he's been playing a lot of Falco recently. Yeah. Now, I am I am I right in that last time I played Mike one? I don't know actually. Uh, I remember Mike beat him sometime recently. I don't know if it was the last time or if it was. Um, yeah, and I'm that. not sure if that was his Falco because he has been going basically all Falco, and eh, not all Falco, but more than he was during this, you know school year and stuff in yeah. the spring. It wasn't playing Falco on doubles at least. But how oh, did he do that today? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. Remember Bobby won. won oh. One. oh yeah. Remember what Bobby in Dimension One? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, uh, I haven't seen too much of him, but I'm pretty sure MK is really good against Falco. Yeah. He has a really good record over Brandy B. I don't know when the last time he played Tempest was. Yeah, he said. I think he said that like he only beats Tempest if Tempest like messes up a lot, and. Um. Uh, even though he's kind of new to Valco, uh, Mark II did, uh, I believe he kind of destroyed Greg Blaze on their first game. I think uh, he forced the Luigi out of bed. Yeah, and then he got, you know, Mark II. Yeah, he got, oh. well, he got the classic mid-tier tip. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. Even though I do like Mark II's playstyle a lot, him versus mid-tiers is kind of my favorite local matchup now. Yeah. But that hasn't, that hasn't been nearly as much of an issue for this past month or so. Yeah, you he got, got his. Anyway. Yeah, he got he got his revenge on P squared. Yeah. Last tournament, I think. Quick 2-0 and losers. Uh, Mark II had beaten P squared before last weekend. He ah. Beat him at one of the Phoenix Bowl events. That was a good double revenge. Yeah. yeah. Made up for the sad two kicks set. Ooh, oh. That. All right. No. I was gonna say if he made it back, I was no, gonna. There's no. Right. I was thinking there's no. I'm guessing he missed the double jump because there's like no reason. It's like that's not even that stylish compared to just calling it out with the double jump. Yeah. Uh, Mike, Mike so usually beats Brandy B. Last time they played, I think, I think he won winners and losers. No, 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 no. Mike got upset in the He six won them, I think, in brands because uh, Mike came from losers. Yeah. Mike makes me so mad when he shakes his head. He. The thing is, like, I don't know how well you know Mike Ozzy, but, like, he shakes his head and it looks really, really bad. It looks like he's tilted. But I think he's done it so often that it doesn't yeah. affect him anymore. Yeah, as of late, that's kind of what I... Like, he's actually yeah, has a really good mentality. Yeah, because in the winter, in the, the winter and early summer, it's like, I'll see that and be like, we tilt your voice. Uh, but lately, like I said, for the past couple of months, he's had really consistent performances. Behind him, I've had like super close placings overall. Had a super close Fox Ditto last week uh, for ninth. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, it was super close. Went to last stock, game three, like we were both at 40%, but we got bared. Yeah. Maybe I rip. Uh, oh. Okay, he did kind of start. Uh, he did kind of get a little trunched in that first game, but he was holding his own. This is super winnable. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think, even though it's not necessary, I don't think Mark 2 can wave shine out shield. Mark 2 usually goes for high risk yeah. reward options like grab. Because he's really good at the chain grab. Yep. Yeah, I would say so. He doesn't look too good at power shielding, though, I can see. Yeah. Yeah, once I did do the trigger mod in my controller, just power shielding those came so much easier because I just cut a because I used saw press L cancel and L to shield I only cut a, like a third off in the spring and now oh. yeah I only cut a third off so that's just shorter and I can still do soft press what I think I'm gonna try to do is um nowadays if I have to play against Falco I when I I hold the left trigger down when I'm starting the set so, oh yeah I, I L cancel and shield yeah, yeah. but that okay that lets um yeah that's the easier. Yeah, that's the reason I can't get rid of the light, the light shields, because I use a tail cancel, too. Yeah. Uh, but I'm also considering using R, because that doesn't have a spring, because I don't need the light press. I'm considering using R for power shield exclusively. Because... M maybe at least for Falco's power shields. Yep. Ba yeah, it's not like Peach, where power shield down smash. That's like such an amazing option against nearly everyone. 
Uh, R2 is getting a little. It started off, you know, it hasn't been looking too bad, but he is just messing up a lot, I think. He's not getting the punishes that he needs. Yeah. And I don't think he goes for a perfect platform tech chase, I'm not 100% sure. But he seems to go for the more read based two thirds. Yeah. He tries to shine out. Uh, I'm going to shine you on about thanks to my 20xx bot practice, because he does that all the time, but that was smart to down smash, because, yeah, I don't know the specifics on the down throw gimmicks. About ghost down throw gimmicks? Yeah, on Fox. Uh, I'm pretty I'm sure if you DI away. You yeah, I think, ju I'm getting to think because of, actually, just after seeing that, I've been shining out of it, because I usually try to re-grab, but.